A couple of years ago, I went to Leeds Festival for the first time, and I thought I knew what to expect. After all, the previous year, I'd been to Greenbelt Festival, and so I was expecting some mud, masses of tents, and some porta loos. However, before I went, a friend of mine told me about a girl at Leeds Festival who'd gone to use the toilets a few years previously. And the toilets at Leeds Festival are basically a pit with a set of holes plonked above them and some cubicles set up. And this girl had gone to the toilets and she'd managed to drop her bag down the toilet. And instead of accepting that it was gone and she didn't want to go anywhere near it again, she tried to get it back again. And she ended up falling through the toilets into several days of Leeds Festival excrement. So having heard this story and feeling slightly more wary and thankful that I wasn't camping, I went off prepared for the worst. And the thing is, being prepared for the worst didn't really help. If you think port are grim, then the Leeds Festival toilets make port look fit for a queen. There isn't really a good experience to be had on the Leeds Festival site when it comes to toilets. However, one particularly bad choice came about 6 o'clock on the second or third day of the festival, whereby upon entering one of these hole above ground cubicles, I was greeted by what I can only describe as the world's worst aim. Someone previously had managed to just poo on the side of the seat and just left it. Basically, by the third day of the festival, the whole site smells like a toilet. Some people, both men and women, give up on the loos and just find the side of a tent, fence or empty drink cup to pee in, regardless of how public that place is. So why am I sharing these fairly grim stories? Well, last week I had an email from a company, Splash Direct, who were trying to encourage people to blog about World Toilet Day an initiative happening on the 19th of November, run by WaterAid. And for every blog containing funny or disgusting toilet stories, Splash Direct are donating £2 to the WaterAid campaign. And the thing is, I chose to go to Leeds Festival, and I've been back since, but I certainly wouldn't want to live like that all of the time. But the reality is that for many people across the world, they have no choice. Many people across the world don't have access to toilets, and WaterAid reckon that people without toilets consume roughly 10 grams of fecal matter every day. And to give you an idea of how much that actually is, it's roughly a teaspoon, as illustrated by chocolate spread. No access to toilets means that germs are spread and often water isn't safe to drink, causing a child to die from water-related diseases every 40 seconds. And in fact, it's thought that 2.5 billion people across the world don't have access to a clean toilet. So why not get involved and share your own toilet stories or donate some money to WaterAid? Just two pounds a month can give one person safe, clean water. And so please get involved and support this fantastic cause and help save lives. I'll see you soon. I don't think I'm ever going to look at chocolate spread in the same way again.